Hi, this is Don Cost, and I'm a TMA for Siemens EDA. Today we'll be covering how to use some of the functions of the ODB++ Design Viewer. First I'll give you a quick tour of the layout and the functions, and then I'll dive a little deeper into how you can use the ODB++ Viewer to check your designs. This is the main screen of the application. Across the top is the toolbar. The most commonly used functions are here. We'll look at a few of these in more detail coming up. Down the left side is a list of all the layers in the product models, starting with the top assembly layer. All of the layers of the design follow sequentially. The next section shows the drill layers. This particular design is HDI, so we see all the different layer spans. And lastly, we see any document layers that were included in the ODB export data. In the bottom left is the world view of the product model. The green square will show you where you are when the main display is zoomed in to an area. Across the bottom we see general information about the design, the number of components and pins, as well as the length, width, and thickness. The main display shows the selected layers. As you select different layers, a different color is used. The colors can be changed by going into the View menu and selecting Colors. There are also a number of ways to navigate the design. First we have the pan buttons on the toolbar. Also on the toolbar are buttons to zoom in and out, zoom area, or zoom home. You can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard as well as the page up and page down keys. The home key will return you to the home view. We can also use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Clicking the left mouse button will let you select an area to zoom into. Also supported are the mentor mouse strokes, so holding down the right mouse button you can draw different strokes to zoom in and out. Going up from right to left will zoom home. Going down left to right will zoom in to an area. Going up left to right will zoom out. Going down right to left will zoom in. Also on the toolbar is the matrix viewer. Here you can look at some of the details of the stack up of the design. Here we see the stack up with copper and dielectric thicknesses. We can also see the different drill spans. Now that we have a quick tour of the layout, let's look at some of the checking you can perform. Back to the toolbar, we have a number of buttons that can be used to select and highlight different features. We can select up to two different features at a time. There's also a button to clear all selections. Using the highlight buttons in conjunction with the active layer allows us to pinpoint an exact feature. Let's look at some of the information attached to the different features. Using the highlight tool and with Signal 3 as the active layer, we see the properties on the trace. The information is displayed along the bottom of the window. You can use the right mouse button to select and copy the information if needed. With the feature selected, we can now click on the Info button to look at the same information in table format. We can see the length information as well as any properties passed over from the CAD tool. By changing the active layer, I can look at different features. Here I've selected the VIA. We can view the properties assigned to the VIA. We can also get a wealth of information from selecting a component. Here you see all the information passed from the CAD tool. There is an additional function under the Actions menu called Highlight CAD Nets. This feature allows you to highlight up to two nets at a time and view them only on the active layers or on all layers. Here I have the filter set to show the Mictor nets. I'll select the 00 bus member. Now let's look at the 02 bus member. As you can see, both nets are now highlighted and since we were viewing all layers, even the ones not currently displayed, we see a green trace where the two nets overlap. We can also quickly search for components using the component filter. We can search for components using different filters. The most common is by RefDes. You can use the pull down or type of RefDes you are interested in. The display will pan to the RefDes and pin that is specified. When you select the ref does and then use the pin name pull down, you will see all the pins associated with that component. When I select the forward arrow, I'm brought to that location. 
You can also filter by customer part number, manufacturing part number, CAD package type, or VPL package type if the product model contains information for the Valor Parts library. The final tool we'll look at is the measurement tool. We have a number of different choices that are available. Measure by points does exactly that. Select two points and it'll tell you the distance. There is a live measurement in the action window once the first point has been selected. After the second selection, the distance is displayed in the bottom left of the window. The next is measure by feature. Here we can select two features and find their distance from each other. Here the distance between the via and the trace is 4 mils. The next measurement type is between nets. Here I select two nets and I get the distance displayed. And finally, we have measure annular ring. Selecting this tool and then selecting any plated through hole will return the annular ring distance in the bottom left of the window. So that wraps up the quick tour of the ODB++ viewer. This is the tool to use if you want to check your design before sending it out for fabrication or for reviewing a design that your fabricator sends you.